the Powerpuff Girls is getting a live action series. I have to say that again. The Powerpuff Girls is getting a live action series. It is going to the CW. I don't know why it's not going to Cartoon Network. You would think, even even though cartoons are cartoons, you would put this on there. But it's going to the CW. They're developing it for the CW. This is crazy. I'm not going to lie. I watched the Powerpuff Girls when they first came out. When it first came out. Not the rebooted one. That's garbage. Hot, hot garbage. The first one was really funny. Really good. Interesting. A uh, really new take on a superhero team. Still bubbly and all that good stuff. But fun. It was fun. This live action uh, series? Adaptation? I don't know how it's going to be, but I'm definitely watching it. <laughs> I have to see what they do. Is there going to be a Mojo Jojo? Is there going to have the, um, I forgot those guys' name. They were all green. Are they going to be there? Is that, uh, her going to be there? Her. Oh, this is, this is very interesting. Is the country dude going to be there? Oh, this is going to be bananas. I, I am really interested in seeing this. <laughs> How are they going to be? Are they going to be teen girls? Are they going to be little girls? Are they going to be... Uh, are they going to have actual powers? Or is it going to be just Powerpuff by name? I am so curious about what they're going to do with this. It could go so many different ways. I only thing I hate is that it's going to be on the CW. And if it's going to be on a the CW, they're going to CW it up. I, I'm, just, I'm no offense to anybody who likes the CW shows and all that. They're so boring and just so bad. I had to stop watching Stargirl because that was way too CW-ish. Flash, I had to let go after like two seasons. Cause, well, that wasn't even CW fault. That was just, that was just I was tired of everything being his fault. But um, CW shows are kind of weird and corny for no reason like it's not even a good corny it's just a bad corny like why am i watching this this is stupid i hope that doesn't happen with powerpuff girls but if they're making it to cw they kind of have a formula so they follow that formula i've yet to see them uh, break out of that formula and only reason i thought star girl was gonna break out of that formula because it wasn't on cw at first it was on dcu verse but as you see, DCU verse kind of got um, imploded in itself, and rightfully so, taken away. Star Girl became more CW and CW formulaic, and that was just uh, for me, uh, just killed it. So, but I am very interested to see what they do with this Powerpuff Girl series. Um, oh, this is crazy. Like, it started to make me wonder what other shows I would like to have a live-action series of that are Cartoon Network shows. Instantly, you go to uh, Foster's Land of Imaginary Friends. That would be crazy. Seeing Blue in live-action, that would be bonkers. You want to see a uh, Steven Universe, of course. A live-action Steven Universe would be really cool. You see a Dexter's Lab. Oh, a Dexter's Lab would be phenomenal there's so much you could do with that oh wow mm. and i wonder if if this is something cartoon network is playing with and start doing doing the disney renaissance and do all their amazing cartoons in live action just remake them as series and s double money up oh if they do that i'm in i'm in uh two stupid dogs they could do two stupid dogs that would be crazy I wonder if they're going to do that. Secret Squirrel. Oh, my God. A live-action Secret Squirrel? That would be ridiculously stupid and funny and good. Oh, I want it now. So, yeah, possibilities are endless depending on what this first one looks like. If this first one's look good, I can see a lot of different stuff coming down the pipeline, which would be awesome. Um... We don't have any timetable about this show. I'm just it's it's been put out there. They say they're working on it. They're getting scripts together, I assume. Start casting soon. Um my question is, are you guys excited for it? Would you be watching it? Would you watch it? 
And is this the one that you wanted to happen first? See, so the thing is, Ben 10 has already had, I think, two live action movies and multiple, multiple different series. Like, I think out of all the Cartoon Network's shows, that show has the most um, different series live action movies um yeah I think he has like seven different uh Benton I, I, there's a word I can't think of it what it is but he got like seven different series each one is vaguely different than the next but I know one kinda spent off of itself so it's in the same universe sometimes they restart over the universe and they change the art style, make it bubbly or something. New alien, blah, blah, whatever. Not going to lie, I was a big Ben 10 fan. I used to watch Big Ten, Ben 10 for a long time. It was good until it got bad. And then it got real bad. And then it got super bad. <laughs> and then I just said, no, no more. No more. But I would like to see a reboot of Ben 10 too. <laughs> if they do it right. If they do it right, yes, I can see a live action Ben 10. I know um, Boss Logic, I think it is, the guy that does all the uh, fantasy casting of characters, he did Tom Holland as Ben 10, and Tom Holland was like, no, no. But it looked good. I'm not going to lie, it looked good. I, it, if they were like, hey, this is happening tomorrow, I'm like, I'm down, let's go. Let's go, let's do it. Um yeah, so let me know how you feel about this Powerpuff live action uh, series coming. What's up, guys? That was just a small clip from my podcast. If you want to check out the full podcast, go ahead and go over to Anchor and search Black Key Cool Podcast. Or hit up Spotify, Stitcher, Pocket Cast, or anywhere um, podcasts can be found. Also, you can look in the description of this video, and I'll have a link to where you can go directly to the podcast. Thanks for listening, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next 